everyone, it's Kenzie Knox and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be painting a lovely palm tree um, with a sunset in the background and it'll just be really nice and calming and a soothing painting. So let's just jump on in and get started. So to begin off with, we'll need some phthalo blue. We'll need some, um, basically just get all the colors of the rainbow. We'll need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and perhaps even some black um, eventually. But um, to start off on the top, we're gonna take our phthalo blue. So I'm gonna take this brush, or a half inch flat brush. I'm gonna dip that in water, tap off the drips, and pick up some phthalo blue. And we're just gonna start along the top here. And I'm using this uh, smaller brush rather than a larger brush just to create a lot of texture. You realize I'm not going um, side to side brushing. I'm doing circles, I'm doing blobs, and just all sorts of different brush strokes. And we're gonna carry this down to about, um, probably down to here, over there, around the corner mark. I'm trying to create texture, that's why I'm using a smaller brush than a bigger brush, because we don't want all areas to be the same color. We want some spots to be darker, some to be lighter more transparent, I guess you could say. And today I'm using uh, water paint paper, actually, but I figured it's actually thicker than acrylic painting media paper, or mixed media paper, so um, I actually tried it out and it actually works fantastically, so I was very surprised and happy with my results. Okay, so now we're gonna take, now that we have that section covered, we're gonna dip into our purple just pick up your purple, and we're just going to start coming down our sky. And the same thing over here, it's just going to come down. here to make it look like clouds. And we'll be doing several layers, don't worry too much about that. It doesn't look exactly perfect. Now I'm not in my typical art studio, so I'm limited on my color palettes. I actually don't have white, which is kind of funny. I'm gonna go ahead and wash out my brush. And I'm gonna pick up some red. This is like a bright cherry red. You see, it's a little bright, so I'm gonna dip it to my orange almost immediately and mix those two colors. Being careful not to mix into the purple yet because it is not dry and it will turn probably like a brown mucky color. Going back into that orange, I pick up some yellow. I try and do this while wet on wet. You can see I'm just swirling mixing my paints, trying to just get a quick um, flow, yet keeping that texture, I want this very textured, so very thick paints, so continue with my yellow only, with my dirty brush. come to our horizon line, which is going to be right about here, uh, maybe down to here. So I'm now going to clean out my brush, I'm going to grab some clean it yellow, and I'm using some bright yellow. And our sun is going to be right here, so this is going to be our sun, or maybe it'll be, I'm sorry, it'll be over here. <laughs> Oops, okay, I'm just going to blot out. 
And it will be a little, little bit darker, so I'm going to take some, um, what color is this? It's like a, a yellow ochre or yellow oxide. Place it all around the sun. I'm going to continue with that mix of bright yellow with the yellow ochre. With the yellow ochre on the outside. Naturally, our sun is going to create this little path in the water. Like that. So, clears off my brush real quick. And now I'm going to pick up some that, that we need a very faint line. I'm going to take some cobalt blue. I'm just going to draw in a water line here. Be careful not to mix into the yellow, it's going to be very faint. We just need a separation line here. Wash up my brush very well. My line actually looks a little green because I must have picked up some yellow. That is okay. Okay, so now we're going to start with our orange. I'm going to start going sideways so water goes horizontally. I'm going to pick up some yellow. Mix it into this to lighten it up. Make sure you're not going over your lines. We created those yellow lines. Well, I guess we could go over them if we have to, but just keep those lines horizontal. For me, I don't have white, so if I can't get, um, if I get any paint over these yellow lines, they might not come out as bright. Um, I'm just going to add a little more yellow over here. And over here. Just a little horizon where the sun is. Okay, so right now we're gonna reflect the sky into the water. So grab that red, leaving that horizontal brush stroke, mixing into that orange. And we're gonna stop around right here. I'm just taking a little oxide, just a little bit. Let's mix it up a little bit. Okay, wash out your brush. You should wash it out real well. I already picked up some purple and blues. You don't want those to mix with the yellow or the red. Okay, so now we're going to take some of our Thalo Blue. I'm going to start on our ground over here. Try not to mix it into your red. Ok, 
Okay, here we pick up the purple. Go right above that yellow. Rinse out your brush. You pick up that purple. I think I might have to wait for that red to dry. Purple lines. I'm gonna bring that purple a little higher up on the left side than it is the right side, so it's almost like the wave is coming in at us. That way. Bring up that yellow blue just a little higher over here. I'm just going to fix up along this line. Make sure your brush is thoroughly clean. I'm going to pick up some of the yellow. Just get a dust along the line. Okay, so now we're going to pick up our black, so grab your black, using that same brush, actually I'm going to switch brushes, so I'm going to use my, this brush, ooh, this looks nice, um, it looks like a quarter inch, sorry, this was a half inch brush, this is a quarter inch straight brush, or flat brush, but then what, get it wet, tap off the drips, pick up some black, and we're just going to draw a little land line, so there's going to be a little bit of land right over here. That land line's gonna be just higher on the left than it is the right. I'm just gonna bring it over. I'm just doing little circles, just so it's not a straight line. And we just want it to be different heights. I'm gonna take a fan brush after if we want to create some grasses. I'm ready to create some palm trees now. So we're gonna take one palm tree that's coming out over this way. So let's have it come up to right around here. Now be careful if your paint isn't dry because you're gonna drag some colors or smudge and it results in something that you're not liking. So be careful. Okay, so when you're drawing a palm tree, there's several different ways you can do it. This is just one way that I've learned. And I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna cut down there. I'm gonna take my fan brush, which I have a miniature fan brush right here. I'm gonna dip that into black, just the tips. And I'm just gonna come down. And this creates a fuller palm leaf. Take that other brush. Go try another palm tree leaf. And this one's gonna be this way. And if you don't have a fan brush, you can simply use an angular brush or a flat brush, and you can create individual leaves. Um, that way, it's very effective as well. It just takes longer, but the results will come out quite similar. For the most part, um, most palm trees have around five to six palm leaves, 
um, coming off of the main trunk. So just keep that in mind when you're drawing your palm trees that they should have at least five to six palm leaves coming off of them. As for the direction of the palm leaves, they can go up, down, on the side, all around. It's really up to you where you want to place them. If you want it to look windy, you can have them all going one way. If you want it just to be a nice day where there's not much breeze, you can have them um, spread out like I'm having them, which is just every sort of which way possible. <laughs> And keep in mind that when you're drawing your palm trees that the uh, stem or the trunk of the tree should be thicker at the base than it is at the top. And you see mine's a little thicker at the top than it is the base, so I'll be fixing that. And then, um, since these two will basically be stemming from the same trunk, I'm going to make the trunk thicker um, in a little bit. You'll see that. And while I'm adding these palm leaves, again, they can go in any direction that you'd like them to. It really is up to you. Um, they can go up and down, to the left, to the right. Um, it really doesn't matter. As I was working on the, this palm leaf, I realized that my fan brush was oversaturated and I couldn't get an accurate, um, it wasn't painting how I wanted it to paint, so I switched it up to my um, flat brush, which you could use, like I said, um, in the beginning for the palm leaves, it works fantastically, um, as well as it does an angular brush. And now I'm just touching up the trunk of the tree just to make it thicker and more proportional to an actual palm tree. Okay, so much you're happy with that, I think we're gonna add one more palm leaf. with that and add these little grasses over here just to pick up with your brush very simply and add a little blue in there 
And I'm using my paintbrush to create this grass. You can also use a flat brush or an angular brush. And we're just creating some strokes that just flick up uh, both black and blue and some purple. Um, and that's just in the foreground. You don't have to do this if you don't like, but I'm just adding some grass and just something to have there. And so once we're done and you're happy with your painting, I think we're all done. And so thank you for watching my YouTube channel and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And until next time, I'll see you later. Okay, bye!